short for early teeth for cuss appears clinical plastic leukemia. It is clinically rare and high risk. Although it has unique immunophenotype and genetic makeup. The grooming itself is not typical. WHO describes it as similar to primitive clinical cell, while confirmed cases in China is characterized by primitive myeloid cell. What happened in our case? Let me show you now. A 36 year old male came to our hospital with fever, fatigue, cough, and immune fever. This is his blood test. We thought he was treated as upper respiratory infection. One month later, his syndrome did not relieve and his blood test called. The test result got worse. Increased body temperature and the decreased blood cells count in blood blood system disease. There are six percent primitive cells in his peripheral blood. Might be primitive lingual cell. Is it ALL? His bone marrow shows seventy-five percent of primitive cells divided into two types. One type has a large cell lines with regular age. The cytoplasm is abundant with a uh, containing small particles of curious and easy to size. The nucleus is warm or regular with loose chromatin indicating primitive myeloid cells. The other type has small cell lines with regular age and the cytoplasm is less and opaque, no particles. The nucleus is warm with thick chromatin indicating Primitive lymphoid cells only do carry less. So is it MAL? POS thing, PAS thing, NAEC, and the sodium fluoride efficient has without suggest monoplast or mycocarbial blast. So the primary diagnosis is done and it is false. Full symmetry suggests only one cluster of primitive cells consistent with tilinfoblastic leukemia, suggesting ETP ALL. The full marrow pathology supports tilinfoblastic leukemia and the existence of mycocarbocytes. The patient has complex carbocytes types and the positive tissue arrangement, negative fusy gene, and two hot spot genes. So his final decision is EGPALL. After three courses chemotherapy, the patient underwent a bone marrow transplantation, and he had been up and alive up to now. So why did we make the misdiagnosis at first? There are two reasons. One reason is that in ETP ALL, the primitive cells express not only lymphoid antigens but also myeloid antigens. No wonder the morphology of the primitive cells can present the characteristic of both lymphoid cell and myeloid cells. Another reason is the uh, leading us to the wrong judgment is the phenomenon of the primitive cells and tosifagosine erythrocytes, which is mostly seen in AML, especially with monocyte imagination of some certain corpus operation, which is um, extremely rare in AML. So only a few cases has been reported. We must exclude the diagnosis of ALL when the erythrocyte pharmacopoeia is shown. So from this case, we learn that certain links between the antipical morphology and the cellular or molecular mechanism of leukemia cells can be explored, making it possible for laboratory.
experience to make the right cell recognition in rare cases. Genes are not static. Cells are not invariable. Nothing is impossible. Pretenders can be seen through with our penetrating insight as long as we keep learning and considering the cases all the time. That's all for my case report. Thank you.